Frighteningly real. That's how the lead detective described evidence in the case against Russell Tillis. As testimony got underway in the death penalty trial, the seasoned detective called the case the most shocking of his career. A key piece of evidence, a recorded confession of Tillis made by a jailhouse inmate in which he alleged details of the crime. On your side, Ann Schindler has been in the courtroom all day and Ann, that recording is being played for jurors. That's right, Anthony. Uh, prosecutors began playing that recording earlier today. They're going to finish it up in the morning. It's three hours long. It's incredibly graphic, uh, profane, very disturbing to listen to. In that recording, Tillis uh, tells his jailhouse inmate, and, and it's important to note, he's not contesting the, the, that, this, that he made this confession, but he tells a jailhouse inmate that he held women captive, that he raped them and sold them for sex to his friends, and that he killed and dismembered three women. Now, Tillis is only on trial for the death of Joni Gunter, a 30-year-old who prosecutors say he killed and then buried in pits in the backyard of his south side home. But Tillis wore this wire confessing uh, all of these things to his jailhouse inmate, and that now is being a centerpiece of this trial. Um, we also heard today from some neighbors, people who used to live next to Tillis, who say he terrorized them, and both of them saying today that at one point they heard a woman screaming for help in the house next door. Yeah, because they threatened to kill me all the time. Tell the jury about that. Threatened to kill me. He would jump the fence, jump over it, and peek up. He watched me 24. I couldn't get my car. I had my neighbors check and make sure I was home. I didn't take showers after dark. I had to get bolt locks on all my doors. And it was dark. She asked me, she said, there's something going on next door. Come over here. So I went over there, and we went to her laundry room, and we could hear what we sounded like a woman screaming for help. Did you hear the words that person was saying? It sounded like she was saying, help me. So that, again, is the recording that was being played. It's going to resume tomorrow at 9 a.m. Uh, prosecutors have said they're going to wrap their case tomorrow, but today, Tillis's defense attorney said he will take the stand in his own defense. So we expect to hear from him tomorrow. We, of course, will be covering this on our app, uh, live streaming it on our web, and we'll be back here at the courthouse tomorrow. Ann Schindler, First Coast News, on your side.